was a construction worker on the third floor of an unfinished building. He needed a handsaw, but was too lazy to go down and get it himself. He tried to call his fellow worker on the ground to get it from him, but this guy could not hear a word he said. So he started to give a sign so the guy on the ground could understand him. First, he pointed at his eyes, meaning eye, then pointed at his knees, meaning need, and moved his hand back and forth describing the movement of a handsaw. Finally, the guy on the ground started nodding his head like he understood, and then dropped his pants and started to jump off. The guy on the third floor got pissed off and ran down to the ground and started yelling at this guy. You idiot! I was trying to tell you I needed a handsaw. The other guy replied, I know, I was trying to tell you that I was coming. <laughs> and asked her husband if he'd like some breakfast. Bacon and eggs? Perhaps a slice of toast? Maybe a nice sliced grapefruit? And a cup of fresh coffee? He declines. It's this he says. It's really taken the edge off my appetite. At lunchtime, she asks if he would like something. A bowl of homemade soup, maybe? With a cheese sandwich? Or how about a plate of snacks and a glass of milk? Again, he declines. No thanks, it's this he says. It's really taken the edge off my appetite. At dinner time, she asks if he wants anything to eat, offering to send out for some curry. Or would you rather I make you a pizza from scratch? Or how about a tasty stir-fry? That'll only take a couple of minutes. Once more, he declines. Again, thanks, but it's this vi- It's really taken the edge off my appetite. Well then, she says, would you mind getting off of me? I'm f starving. <laughs> Three guys were on a trip to Saudi Arabia. One day they stumbled into a harem tent filled with over 100 beautiful women. They started getting friendly with the women when suddenly the sheikh comes in. I am the master of all these women. No one else can touch them except me. You three must pay for what you have done today. You will be punished in a way corresponding to your profession. The sheikh turns to the first man and asks him what he does for a living. I'm a cop, says the first man. Then we will shoot your p off, said the sheikh. He then turned to the second man and asked him what he did for a living. I'm a fireman, said the second man. Then we will burn your p off, said the sheikh. Finally, he asked the last man, And you? What do you do for a living? And the third man answered with a sly grin, I'm a lollipop salesman. <laughs> Old man woke up in the middle of the night and found, to his utter astonishment, that his pecker was as hard as a rock for the first time in two years. He shook his wife by the shoulder until she woke up and showed her his enormous b- Check this out, he happily exclaimed. What do you think we should do with it? With one eye open, his wife replied, Well, now that you've got all the wrinkles out, it would be a good time to wash it. <laughs> that wife of mine is a liar, said the angry husband to a sympathetic pal seated next to him in a bar. How do you know? The friend asked. She didn't come home last night and when I asked her where she had been, she said she had spent the night with her sister Shirley. So? The friend replied. So she's a liar. I spent the night with her sister Shirley. <laughs> There are three girls and their boyfriends all have the same name, so in order to keep them from getting confused, they decide to give their boyfriends nicknames. They ask the first girl what she calls her boyfriend. She says, I call my man 7up. They ask her, why do you call your man that? And she says, because he's 7 inches long and is always up. They ask the second girl what she calls her man. She says, I call my man Mountain Dew. They ask, why do you call your man that? And she says, because he likes to mountain.
me. They asked the third girl the same thing, and she says, I like to call my man Jack Daniels. They look at her, puzzled, and say, Why do you call your man that? Jack Daniels is a heart licker. She says, Exactly. Israeli doctor said, Medicine in my country is so advanced, we can take a kidney out of one person, put it in another, and have him looking for work in six weeks. The German doctor said, That's nothing. In Germany, we can take a lung out of one person, put it in another, and have him looking for work in four weeks. A Russian doctor said, In my country, medicine is so advanced, we can take half a heart from one person, put it in another and have them both looking for work in two weeks. The American doctor, not to be outdone, said, Ha! We took out an apple out of Texas, put him in the White House, and half the country will be looking for work tomorrow. <laughs> A physically large guy meets a woman at a bar and after a number of drinks they agree to go back to his place. As they are making out in the bedroom, ready for the act, he stands up and starts to undress. After he takes his shirt off, he flexes his muscular arms and says, See there baby, that's 100 pounds of dynamite. She begins to drool. The man drops his pants, strikes a bodybuilder's pose and says, referring to his bulging legs, see those baby, that's 1000 pounds of dynamite. She's aching for action at this point. Finally he drops his underpants and she grabs her purse and runs screaming to the front door. He catches her before she's able to run out of the door and asks, why are you in such a hurry to leave? She replies with 2000 pounds of dynamite and such a short fuse, I was afraid you were about to blow. The baby was just born. He had all his parts and looked quite normal, except that he was laughing like mad. All the doctors and nurses were examining the little thing in front of the worried parents, but he kept on laughing. His tiny fists all closed and tears rolling from his eyes. One at a time, the doctor unfolded the tiny fingers to check if the hand was alright. And guess what he found? The birth control pill. A very good looking man walks into a singles bar, gets a drink and takes a seat. During the course of the evening, he tries to chat with every single woman who walks into the bar. With no luck, suddenly a really ugly man, and I mean really ugly man, walks into the bar. He sits at the bar and within seconds he's surrounded by women. Very soon he walks out of the bar with two of the most beautiful women you have ever seen. Disheartened. By all of this, the good-looking man asked the barman, Excuse me, but that really ugly man just came in here and left with those two stunning women. What's his secret? He's as ugly as sin, and I'm everything a girl could want. But I've not been able to all night. What's going on? Well, says the barman, I don't know how he does it, but he does the same thing every night. He walks in, orders a drink, and just sits there licking his eyebrows. <laughs>